Hello everyone, today it's all about garlic. That's right, because we are making the 40 cloves of garlic chicken. This is an old grandma recipe, a bistro style recipe from the town of Lyon, Burgundy, in the Rhone kind of region in France. And of course, in France, as you know, we love garlic. Now, 40 cloves of garlic is for the original recipe that uses 1.4 kilo of chicken. Because I only had one kilo of chicken, that's gonna translate into me using 30 cloves of garlic. Now you may think to yourself, oh my god, this is gonna be super garlicky. Now the good thing about that recipe and the trick is that you don't have to peel these garlics. We're gonna cook the garlic in their sleeves and therefore it's not gonna be tasting that much like garlic. It's a very easy recipe to make. It only takes 30 minutes and they're just pieces of sauteed chicken that we're gonna brown and then cook with some wine, some garlic and some cognac. When the dish is done, you add a little bit of parsley and off you go for your soup super beast for lunch. Easy! Now I have to say that I really like quick and easy recipes and this is really again one of those easy to make recipes. It's nice and quick and it doesn't require much ingredients. This is what I'm gonna use. One kilo of chicken thighs, I've got my 30 cloves of garlic, a glass of white wine, a dry white, a Sauvignon Blanc, salt, pepper, butter with a bit of oil to cook the chicken, a little bit of cognac and I'm gonna decorate the whole lot with some fresh parsley. That's it. Easy. Okay, so let's start. You always start this recipe when you brown chicken with a bit of oil and butter. That's what I've used. And we're gonna use our thighs with the uh, skin on and we're gonna do the skin side first. So skin down and we're gonna start by coloring all of our pieces of meat. So after five or six minutes when you get a little bit of color going like that, you're going to turn your pieces over and then we're going to be able to add the garlic in that lovely mix. So you take all of your garlic and you're going to sprinkle the whole lot over. Then take a spoon, make sure your cloves of garlic are bathing in the butter and oil. So they're going to really absorb all that. And you're going to leave these to cook for like, you know, 10-15 minutes. Start cooking the chicken on a medium heat. So 15 minutes in, it's time to put the cognac and do a flambe. So as always, put the heat on on high because your pan has to be very hot for it to work. I'm gonna try again to do that flambe like the last time. Bit of cognac and there we go. As always, very quickly, the flames are dying down happily for my kitchen and I can just make sure the pieces are nicely tossed in the cognac. When all the cognac goodness is in, we're gonna leave again the meat to cook for another 10 minutes. Right, so 10 minutes have passed and now the last step consists of deglazing because so far what we've done, we've cooked our meat, we've sizzled the chicken uh, in the butter and you see all this brown here is nicely caramelized with the garlic and you get that nice concentrated taste on there. And the deglazing is gonna allow us to detach all that and create our sauce. Now, that's gonna happen with white wine. If you want, you can pour the wine like that over the chicken. But personally, I like to remove the chicken first and deglaze without the chicken so I can really get the juice of the pan. Now, if, like me, you had lots of oil rendered by the chicken at the bottom, and this is what I've done, you can take your pan of the, of the heat, remove the excess of butter plus oil, and put this back on the pan. This is roughly what I'm leaving there. So I've put my heat on high again, and I'm using just some dry white wine, just for deglazing. There we have it. So you see when you put the wine, it comes back to the boil, this is what you get. And this is where the magic happens. Your pieces of garlic floating in the wine, and we're virtually cleaning the pan. Look at this. You see? It's really all clean and I'm gonna detach all the juices and put back in my sauce, reduce it a little bit and then put back my chicken and finish to cook it. All right, so now I'm gonna put my chicken back and you can see all this garlic is gonna act as a support for my chicken and I'm gonna put my pieces of chicken gently on top of the garlic. And there you have it. It's all back in. I'm gonna leave this to simmer gently, maybe for another 10 minutes or so or it fits for you, depends. Just cook it until the meat is nice and juicy, nice and tender, and we're done. How dish is now finished, and there's two ways you can serve it. If you want the classic way, 
And you're gonna take your chicken out, make sure you coat it nicely in the sauce, and we're gonna serve it with some of the sauce and some of the garlic. I'm also gonna make a second version where I'm gonna show you how to use some of the garlic and make a little creamy garlic sauce, and you can choose which one you prefer. All right, so the bistro version of the dish, this is what you get in a Lyon type of city, is very, very simple. It's very straightforward. You will get your pieces of chicken like this, just for this I will put three, so like an uneven number. And basically it will be covered with some of this garlic. So these are become like some kind of pureed garlic and you just add some of this lovely juice on top. Okay, so a bit of garlic juice. You would have maybe a ratatouille or pasta on the side or something like this and it would just be presented with a little bit of parsley. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. This is the option number one. Now this is my version of the dish. I'm actually making a sauce. So I'm taking all the juices there and I'm gonna add about four garlic cloves of just the flesh that's caramelized and a tablespoon of cream because I just love cream. And I'm gonna make a garlicky sauce. All right, as soon as the cream boil, basically you're done. And now for the second version of the recipe, which is a bit my version. So I will start by putting the pieces of chicken out there and same thing, I'm gonna put three of those. And I am gonna cover the chicken with my special garlic sauce. Ooh, because I love this garlic and this is infused with cognac, garlic, butter and wine. And then, like the other dish, I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of that garlic or these fresh garlics on top. There you go. And to finish, like the other dish, a basic sprinkle of parsley on top. Very simple. And there you have it. This is my garlicky chicken 40 cloves recipe. <laughs> bit of a custom recipe. But hey guys, we've made it honestly to an easy recipe to make, it's a bit bistro style, you've got two choice, this one, the creamy version, the non-cream version, it's really up to you to choose whatever you prefer. So as always, if you like the content, you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, put a like, put a comment, as I really appreciate it, it really helps me grow so we can cook more French cooking. Have a good time, and I'll see you on the next video, bye-bye.